the people say Jesus is. Now, know this. Jesus opens by casting a wide net, right? Like, imagine what he's doing here. Well, if we were to say, like, if everyone was able to give their opinion, right, on who Jesus is, this all-important question, who do people say that the Son of Man is? This is a big question. That's a wide net, right? And Jesus is essentially asking this. Um, where have the masses landed on this, is he or is he not, the Messiah thing, right? Like Jesus wants to know. Jesus is asking a question that none of us in the room could ask. Uh, what's the word on the street about me, right? Like if we were to ask, unfortunately, uh, our disciples would say, got to be honest with you, uh, there's really no word on the street about you, like good or bad, no one's talking about you. But that's not the case about Jesus. Everyone had an opinion. Everyone was talking about him. Uh, one of my favorite authors uh, is a guy named Watchman Nee. Watchman Nee was a pastor in China, and uh, he would regularly preach uh, to uh, his congregation in Shanghai of an audience to six to 7,000 people. But more important than preaching, uh, he was a gifted writer. He's, he's known for, credited to starting over 200 house churches in China alone. And uh, what's great about Watchman Nee is uh, some of his books are like really thick and others are more like, you hate to call it a book, it's more like a pamphlet. Uh, I mean, like it is super small, and you go, why? And, and here's, uh, for 20 years, uh, Watchman Nee spent time in prison and or labor camps in China because he would not stop preaching or writing about the gospel. Matter of fact, they came to Watchman Nee and said, if you'll just leave the country, <laughs> like just get out of here, we'll let you go free. And he refused to do so because he felt called to preach there, to share the gospel. He's known for this famous quote, good is not always God's plan, but God's plan is always good. Now, you may go, ooh, that's good. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> uh, good is not always God's plan, but God's plan is always good. And I want you to know, that's not just a good quote. It is good, right? But think about this. He wrote that in his 20 years spent in prison and in labor camps. Uh, Watchman Nee, uh, just real quick side note, the, the reason some of his books were really thick and some of his books were really small because he was in prison and he would write them there. And here's the thing. He would, uh, his goal was in writing, he wanted the books to get out. And so he spent most of his time trying to convert the, watch, the, the guards, uh, those that watched over Watchman Nee. And uh, sometimes he was able to share the gospel and the Spirit of the Lord would convict them and, and they would get saved quickly and say, whatever you feel like God's calling me to do. And he would say, I think God wants you to get this book out to the believers. And they would abandon their job as a watchman uh, in the prison, and, and they would distribute the book. So some of his books were really small because it took like no time at all for him to lead someone to Christ. Some of his books are really thick because the guy he was trying to share with was pretty thick-headed, right? So it took longer for the Spirit to work on him. But Watchman Nee made this argument in his book, Normal Christian Faith. Which, by the way, he says basically the faith we live is not normal. So he writes this book called The Normal Christian Faith. Very similar to statements that C.S. Lewis made. And basically, Watchman Nee said this. A person who claims to be God, you belong in one of three camps. So anyone, including Jesus, who claimed to be God falls into one of three camps. First, if he claims to be God and, and, yet, and yet in fact is not, then he is a madman. C.S. Lewis said he's a lunatic. Or second, if he is neither God nor a lunatic, then he must be a liar, deceiving not only himself but others 
by his lie. And then third, if he is neither of these, then he must be God or Lord. Because you can only choose one of the three possibilities. So C.S. Lewis would say this. Either Jesus, Jesus was a liar, a lunatic, or he's Lord. Uh, Matthew 6, 14, the next verse says, They, meaning disciples, they replied, not their response, but of what they've heard. Some say, Jesus, that you are John the Baptist. Others say, Elijah. And still others, Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. Now, the disciples are responding maybe to uh, an informal poll that they took. I'm not sure. They're, they're just sharing. Hey, here's the word on the street. And notice the supernatural element. And the chosen did a great job of explaining this. Notice the supernatural element of their answers. For Jesus to have been any of those, right? John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, one of the other prophets, it would have meant this, that Jesus came back from the dead because all four of them at this particular time had died. So in other words, here's what's happening. The people have recognized that there's something special going on with Jesus. And, and, and they see similarities between Jesus' works and Jesus' words that they've experienced and that they were expecting from the Messiah to come. But know this, they were wrong. That Jesus isn't John, nor is he Jeremiah. And so we, they admit that there's something special about him. Maybe he was a prophet, maybe a wise man, a spiritual man, but that's where they stopped. He's special but he's not my savior. 